MLB The Show has baseball coming your way on a summer night at Oriole Park in Baltimore. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Kansas City Royals and the Baltimore Orioles. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Patrick Corbin is on the mound for game two. H.R., what's the word on him? The way I see him, Matt, he's really struggled because he allows a lot of base runners, whether it's by the walk or by the hit. And when you have that much traffic on the base path, you're going to eventually give up runs. So he's got to eliminate that and give his team and himself a chance to win this game. Harold Reynolds, we look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. Well, Matt, I mean, the road trip got off to a great start. I mean, they got great pitching and defense yesterday, and you win a game, you hold them down the low score. You feel good, and really, you win championships by pitching and defense. And if you can hold teams to low scores, you're going to win a lot of games. So that's what they're preaching today as they head into this ball game. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles' starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? You know, they really need Brett Lord to snap out of the funk he's in. Uh, he has really struggled. A struggle is a kind word. He's been terrible with runners in scoring position. He's hit under 200 in those situations this season. And when that's the case, you start to think that maybe it's in his head. I think he's putting too much pressure on himself right now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. That's a fastball right down the middle. Now, you might be able to get away with it in the first inning. Guys are still filling him out. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. So. So striding in, Trey Mancini. He looked to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh, 2. Everybody knows he's got that fastball that gets up at 100 miles an hour. This have to be ready to swing. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Trey Mancini is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. So stepping in, Donnell Mitchell. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Mitchell. The 0-1 on its way. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Striding in, Greg Garcia. And a Leading quick glance the at the Orioles. numbers will tell you it's been a huge header. struggle for him Greg at the plate this Garcia. year. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Hey. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Batting ninth. Center Sent fielder. on the ground out to second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw gets him two down. Striding in once again. Frank Pena over one here zero. in the early going. Now Frank a swing and a fly Pena. ball. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no Here's Chris Owings now. Comes into this at-bat 0-1 in the ballgame. 
Sends that one out of play for strike one. Next pitch chopped foul right at home plate and he's behind nothing in two now. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Scooter a Jeanette. Baseman, 0 for 1 two, for him here in this one. Scooter, and that's by him. It's 0 and 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. The pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Softly hit toward the hole. Harrison charging this one. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting. First this eight one's eight. down to third. Volpe comes up eight. with it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Ramon Leading Sanchez. He'll start things right out here in a tie ball game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. That ball's right down the middle, and this guy's hitting in the middle of your order, and he wasn't able to hit it. That's how nasty his slider is. Here it is. You still can't hit it. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. The batter. Donnell Mitchell is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. 0-1 oh, one looked like a knuckle curve, and it's 1-1 one one now. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Now batting third. Brett Lurie is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively and what that does it holds the pitch count down. He's clearly looking to hit Straight off the fastball up, up, up. and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing it. two fastballs ball, ball. now in a row. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire. The Digging in for his second at bat, Greg Garcia. He's for, the for one thus far. Well, better. as demonstrated Greg there, that's Garcia. a tough pitch to do anything with. <laughs> yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now batting, center field. Wayne Wolfram. No will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Called strike 0 and 2. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Now batting. Frank Pena is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Weak chopper up the line, but it gets foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Now that was a good pitch to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Here's Chris Owings now. 0 for 2 with a couple of Leading strikeouts for him so far. Hey, no, and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Fouled back. Again, a 1-2. Chopped weakly to the left. Volpe ranges to his left. Throw on to first in time, one away. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both the southpaw and a right-hander get loose. Scooter Jeanette is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Another 0-2 coming. Another one sent foul. 
ready with another 0 2. Ground ball left side. Volpe is there in time to first, and there are two away. Action in that KC pen now as a right hander has begun to loosen up. Trey Mancini is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And this is going to be a foul ball. The next 0 2. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Three down for the. Into the windup and the pitch. The Orioles, right fielder. Swing and a grounder Ramon fouled off to the left. Sanchez. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Now batting. A little bouncer. Patrick. Foul ball, Donnell however, strike one. Mitchell. Outside for a ball, right. one and one. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. So two oh, balls and two strikes now. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what go, we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Here's the third baseman, Brett Laurie. And they're down to their final Thank four you. outs here, Dan. Brett. Yeah, and it's not Laurie. looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat one, at a two. time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Three. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now is that. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Ready once again, Greg Garcia. will be the one to get us going here in the Orioles. bottom of inning number nine. The fastball Greg here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs. A ball and a strike. One and two now. One and two. Looking to send him packing again. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Center fielder number 11. Dwayne Walter swings and misses Walter. there, so he's down 0-1. Well, they haven't had a real good game plan. That's a lot of balls are swinging that out of the zone, helping him out. And there's a sign of another one out of the zone, helping the pitcher out. Got to know your zone. You want to have a chance. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Digging in once again, Frank Pena. He's their last shot Number here with two away in the ninth Number as they look zero. to avoid the shutout. Right. Yeah, Matt. Pena. On to first, and that's your ball game. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, Our what might have been. Tonight. So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.